the camera world is abuzz with excitement over Nikon's upcoming Z63 and Z90 models. While both cameras promise impressive performance, they take contrasting approaches to capturing fast-moving subjects, setting the stage for a battle between rolling shutter and global shutter technologies. At the higher end of Nikon's rumored new mirrorless lineup, the full-frame Z63 is shaping up to be an uncompromising multimedia imaging powerhouse with truly game-changing capabilities. If even half of the rumored specs prove accurate, this could become one of the most powerful and versatile hybrid cameras money can buy. Let's start with the mind-boggling video specs, which have filmmakers and videographers drooling. The Z63 is tipped to offer a whopping 6K resolution at up to 60 frames per second, an astounding feat for a hybrid stills a video camera. Footage at this resolution and frame rate would provide exceptional editing flexibility with plenty of scope for reframing, stabilization, and other post-production techniques, but it gets even better, leaks suggest the Z63 will also be able to record 4K video at a staggering 120 frames per second for buttery smooth motion capture unlike anything we've seen from a hybrid system. Footage at these resolutions and speeds could produce cinema quality results rivaling dedicated video cameras costing exponentially more. Bolstering its potential video prowess even further are rumored features like the ability to record 10-bit for colon 2 colon 2 video internally to capture maximum color data, along with support for future video codec updates via firmware to keep it future-proof as standards evolve. There's even been talk of pro-level video tools like waveform monitors and vector scopes being included. Make no mistake, if these video capabilities prove real, the Z63 could single-handedly elevate what's possible from a hybrid stills video camera into an entirely new performance tier, one previously limited to high-end cinema rigs. It could become the holy grail for multimedia creators who need a true do-it-all system for both world-class photo and video capture without any compromises. But don't worry photographers, because the Z63 seems just as formidable on the stills imaging front. Reliable leaks point to a blistering 20 frames per second burst rate for capturing split-second action with minimal distortion, one of the fastest rates of any full-frame ILC on the market. What's more, that 20 frames per second shooting isn't just a burst buffer waiting to fill up. Rumors suggest the Z63 will offer an insane 120 frames per second rate for capturing unlimited full-resolution JPEGs. Think about that, you could shoot completely uninterrupted at over 100 frames per second without ever hitting a buffer limit. The possibilities for capturing mere instantaneous motion are mind-blowing. As if that weren't enough, the Z63 is slated to inherit Nikon's cutting-edge 493-point hybrid autofocus system from the flagship Z9 camera. This potent AF solution melds rapid contrast detection points for stellar subject tracking with finer-grained colored pixel phase detection for improved depth mapping and low-light sensitivity. The resulting autofocus performance could be utterly game-changing for all manner of photography, from erratically moving wildlife and fast action sports to delicately capturing candid moments at events. Combined with the insane burst speeds, the Z63 shapes up as a true autofocus beast that could revolutionize what's possible for tracking and capturing the decisive moment. But of course, even the fastest burst speeds and most advanced AF mean little without excellent image quality to back it up. Here too the Z63 seems poised to impress, likely incorporating a higher resolution backside illuminated CMOS sensor with improved noise performance for stellar low-light shooting. Nikon has already showcased the low-light prowess of its BSI CMOS tech in cameras like the Z9, so we can likely expect the Z63 to elevate image quality even further while also increasing resolution, rumors point to around 30-35 MP with Nikon's color science and imaging chops. The Z63 could become a low-light king for everything from night skies to dimly lit events. When you tally up these potential capabilities across video, stills, burst speed, autofocus, and image quality, it's easy to see why the Z63 is generating so much buzz as a possible holy grail for content creators who need true hybrid imaging prowess without compromise. But that's only half of Nikon's intriguing mirrorless story for 2024. The Z90 takes things in an entirely different direction by introducing global shutter technology to Nikon's mainstream APS-C lineup and potentially bringing this tech to affordable price points.
For the uninitiated, global shutters work quite differently from traditional rolling shutters found in most digital cameras. Instead of scanning across the sensor line by line, global shutters capture the entire frame simultaneously by exposing every single pixel for the same period at the exact same instant. This fundamentally eliminates the distortion artifacts like skewing, wobbling, and partial exposure effects that can plague traditional rolling shutters when capturing fast motion. Athletes in full stride, race cars in action, crashes, explosions, with a global shutter, you get a crisp, geometrically accurate rendering of the entire scene at peak motion, completely free of distortion. While global shutters have been used for decades in industrial and scientific imaging applications where motion distortion can't be tolerated, this tech has remained out of reach for consumer photographers and videographers due to various manufacturing challenges and costs. That's all about to change with the Z90. If the rumor mill is accurate, this innovative APS-C mirrorless camera from Nikon will offer unprecedented global shutter capabilities for capturing distortion-free motion at speeds up to an impressive 15 frames per second with full electronic shutter operation. That means you get tack-sharp, geometrically perfect renderings of even the fastest subjects in full action. And the talents of the Z90 don't end there. It's also tipped to offer highly impressive video recording capabilities like DCI 4K at up to 60 frames per second and silky 1080p slow motion at a mind-bending 180 frames per second, all with the benefits of global shutter distortion removal. These are specs that could make the Z90 a hugely appealing tool not just for photographers but also multimedia creators in need of capturing crisp motion footage. However, there's no such thing as a free lunch in the world of imaging technology. Global shutters do come with their own unique set of compromises and trade-offs due to the inherent technical challenges of exposing every pixel simultaneously. A key issue is the much greater thermal load generated by these types of sensors, which could require more advanced cooling mechanisms and heat dissipation compared to traditional rolling shutters. There are also concerns around reduced battery life since reading the entire sensor at once requires more processing power and energy consumption. And then there's the potential impact on overall image quality. Global shutter readout tends to introduce more noise, higher noise levels, and reduce dynamic range compared to the best rolling shutters, though some of these drawbacks may be offset by design innovations and Nikon's imaging pipeline tuning. Still, for many photographers and videographers shooting action, sports, wildlife, and other scenarios where ultra-high speed motion is the norm, the benefits of going global shutter could far outweigh the trade-offs in noise and dynamic range. That's especially true considering the Z90 will likely arrive at much more affordable price points than current global shutter cameras. When you consider their differing yet equally revolutionary sensor technologies and feature sets, it's clear that Nikon is taking a multi-pronged approach with these two unique new cameras aimed at appealing to diverse creator needs. In the Z63, the company is doubling down on blistering performance across stills, video, burst speeds, advanced autofocus capabilities, and low-light prowess, offering a true all-in-one multimedia imaging solution for pros and enthusiasts who can't afford to compromise their creative vision. The Z90, on the other hand, adopts a more specialized but no less cutting-edge role by bringing global shutter technologies into the affordable mainstream for the first time. For those who place an absolute premium on capturing geometrically perfect motion and action sequences free of distortion and rolling artifacts, this compact APS-C camera could be a game-changer worth making some trade-offs in overall image quality. Of course, any discussion about new camera systems inevitably turns to the elephant in the room, pricing. And here, unfortunately, all we have is educated speculation at this point based on Nikon's current product positioning. Given the full-frame sensor, cutting-edge specs across photography and videography, and premium performance positioning, most analysts anticipate the Z63 will command a flagship price of at least $3,000 for the body alone, possibly even pushing $3,500 or higher. That would place it in the same premium pricing territory as rivals like the Canon EOS R3 and Sony A9 series. As for the Z90, its global shutter tech and strong multimedia features don't necessarily translate to budget pricing, but it will likely undercut the Z63 significantly. Current rumors suggest the Z90 could potentially land somewhere between $1,500 to $2.
2024 is shaping up to be an excellent year for Nikon shooters, with the Z63 and Z90 offering appealing high-performance options tailored to diverse photography and videography needs. Whether you need blistering speeds, advanced video features, and low-light prowess or prioritize distortion-free capture of fast action, Nikon seems poised to deliver with these unique new mirrorless models. The choice will ultimately come down to which shutter technology better suits your particular shooting style and demands.